boy. Like it. Right now, I'm thinking about what I want to build this game and what's going to be good against them. Aatrox and Graves are really, really bursty champions. So is Katarina. Um, and my team's pretty squishy. We've got a lot of damage, but we're all squishy. So I might need to go kind of tanky again here. All right, so here's what we're going to do. This game, we're going to go relatively tanky, but first item, we're going to go Ghost Blade. And why are we going to go Ghost Blade? Because I don't want to be as slow as I was last game. So we'll rush that one damage item and we'll build into... Uh, we'll build into tank after that. Let's get our shoulder guards. Two pods. We're playing Pike Zaya against Janna Ash. So early on in the game, don't get harassed. Level 1. Uh, don't get forced to the point where you have to play a tower and you can no longer trade. Would Fleet Footwear work in a really poke-oriented matchups? I mean, it could. Some of the sustain would be good, but then again, you're, you're forced walking up to minions to use it. And I suppose you could use it at tower or something. But the higher you get, the less often the enemy is going to allow you to use something like that. Like if they see you run that, they're gonna they're gonna know what you're trying to do, and they'll just bully you still. It's not a bad thought though. We're gonna get pushed in because one melee, one range champion. They have the ability to push and harass a lot better than we do. So basically, in this matchup, you want to play safe until level two. Don't get forced out of lane. Damn. Just run away, eat a volley in the face, and a W in the comet. Ah! So one more minion, we're level 2, and then we can look for something. So we're only down, what, 120 HP? That's not bad. I can't believe she missed her either. We didn't even force it. We didn't force anything off her. is really bad. Like, really bad! Holy! She does not know how to do damage with her champion.
But yeah, so there, when Elise came in, they should have gone for Janna. Janna was a free kill. We would have been 2-2 uh, two to two right now instead of 1-3. to three. They played that really poorly. They made a bad decision going for Ash. It was definitely free to kill Janna. She only harassed me, too. Thought she would double back the other way. So I don't, I don't think Elise's flash was necessary there, but uh, what happened? I am not watching at all. Like, no, no eyeballs whatsoever. <laughs> okay, okay. Whatever. It's a nice York build. Not get feathered faster? Oh my god. I don't, I don't know what to do with this ADC. Um, I think we need to get Moby's this game. I wanted to get Ghostblade first. Our ADC, we know, doesn't know how to play their champion. So what do we take away from that? We take away that we need to roam more than look for plays in lane because they don't know how to follow up. They don't know how to combo their abilities in order to root somebody. I don't know how many hooks I've had where they did not land their feathers into into a root. It's been like three or four, and that should not be happening in this game. Zaya just stops back there. Does not follow up well. But Zaya's not even here, dude. Should have rooted there. Like oh, he's just bad. It should have been a free kill to root him under tower. I didn't know what she's doing. Boy. 
lagging. Like I said, I'm gonna go Ghostblade this game. Uh, and then I'm probably gonna go Tanky. So Ghostblade first this game because I want the move speed to get around. I'm not gonna be looking to duel too many champions in this game. Uh, Katarina just murders me. Right here, we needed to rotate out of bottom. Well, except dragons coming up, so we can play bottom, that's fine. Oh, shit! I almost had him. See what I mean about Graves' damage, though? I've got to be able to negate some of that. So we'll get the Frozen Heart next, and then we'll go straight into Maw. Graves got my shutdown, unfortunately. Turret shots that I eat way too many. I thought we'd actually kill the tower, but I don't think they hit it. Hit the fucking tower, please. I'm unsure why that was hard for them to see. Like, the tower should have died there. But as soon as I hooked, they stopped focusing turret for some reason, it looked like. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! 
Dragon on Dragon Timer. Boy. Five man mid, it's open. Why not FF then? The old Janna one shot. Hey, Boba Fred, happy New Year's, dude. Today feels good. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, I think in quite a few days off with all the holidays and stuff. It's popped off with a rando pike on a D4 Smurf. Very nice. I can't honor Zaya for that one. They played it so poorly. Just. They did not know how to rotate their abilities ever. Hey guys, just wanted to give a big shout out to Joshua Titsworth. Thank you for your support as our one godlike member. And if you guys are interested in having your name at the end of our videos, hit that join button. Thanks for watching, guys.